y'all haven't seen my uh, new discovery by now I hope Instagram has seen it and Twitch has definitely seen it but I don't think you guys have seen it I know you're like Kate what are those gloves I've discovered a new era of myself okay part of me is joking because I did need this stuff for an Instagram post because Hot Topic is amazing but the other part is I genuinely kind of wanted to try listen I'm, I mean I'm doing something with makeup I'm trying to learn okay first it was the freckle pin now it's the black lip gloss lip matte lip something i'm not very good at putting it on but we'll get there when we get there besides the point i am tired of people i know i've made these videos in the past but i'm tired of it it's like it's it's half and half okay because listen this weekend i thought it would be a great idea to spend some me time i thought it'd be a great idea to get some stuff done before you know i actually have to stress out about it there was some things on my to-do list that i needed to get done i thought i would have time and i didn't have time but besides the point i went into the weekend blah blah blah, blah, blah. i lived a life okay i did life i'm sorry but i did you may be like oh where are we starting with this kate well 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 i don't even know where I'm gonna start to be honest it started with driving a car I guess driving a car I was driving a car and traffic was horrendous traffic is always horrendous but for some reason it was more horrendous today technically not today I've reverted back to the day of me experiencing stuff just sit get your food popcorn I don't like popcorn I wasn't gonna say popcorn but y'all like popcorn I don't like popcorn so Grab your snacks, sit down. I'm gonna talk about people for a second, okay? There are some good people in this world and there are some bad. I feel like that's a given, but I wanna talk about my experiences over the last weekend of why people. Should I have logged this when it was in the moment? Probably, Pro I don't even know if the kid. I think it's time for me to get a new camera, but I haven't quite decided yet because they're expensive. This camera is good, but it does the thing, you know? Anyway, besides the point, so. My first interaction of people of a day is I was driving, surprise, surprise, I was driving back from a friend's place. And on this drive back, I had to go on a stupid toll road. Why did I have to go on a toll road? I don't know. Granted, it was probably because I did a little side quest for some chicken, but besides the point, it made me go on a toll road and I was very confused, very upset because it wasn't even like, oh, you're gonna have to pay 50 cents. No, 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 no. This toll road specifically, something didn't fit right with this toll road because it said to pay online and that's never a good sign. If a toll road it tells you to pay online, that means it's not gonna be 50 cents, throw it in, keep going. No, 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 no. I'm gonna skip past this part. It was $7, almost $8. To my, to, it was like 7.75 or something. It was a toll road and a half. But besides that point, me driving on this toll road, I it was in a hilly area. I don't know where I was. I don't know where I was going. And my poor little car, a four-cylinder car, was having a hard time on hills. She's always had a hard time on hills. I know how to work my car. My car and I are one. I've had her for almost 10 years now. Besides the point, I know how my car works and I knew the moment I started going up these hills I was gonna have problems so normally it wouldn't be an issue because my car can pick up speed it's not very fast and you know I was doing pretty good except for the fact that there were two giant Ford F-150s coming up from behind me very very fast very quickly and they weren't slowing down I panicked and so I was like let me try to at least get out of the way but the problem was is I couldn't get out of the way fast enough and they weren't slowing down they were not slowing down I don't know what in God's name they were thinking when I have a tiny little Hyundai accent and they're like in trucks so it just didn't didn't make sense and they didn't slow down they almost hit me I could see the face in the reflection of my little mirror and they were honking and I was like I, I can't go faster dude like my foot was down on the pedal I was going up a hill I had a little car I don't know what they wanted from me what makes this even weirder was I was going 70 at least 70 I couldn't go faster I mean I could but it would have taken a bit you know car so these absolute doorknobs of people just flew past, almost rear-ended me, but just flew past, honking, 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 honking. I love today. Had to take a toll road, and now I have these guys being awful. And then it gets worse. And then it gets worse. Not only did the toll road split where there was traffic, right? There was traffic on the right side. The left side, it was clear. And my GPS told me I needed to get in the right side. I don't know if you've ever driven in California. If you haven't, drivers are not very nice. So I knew the moment my GPS was like, hey, we gotta get over. I was like, ooh, girl, we're not getting over. Is someone letting us in? No. You know, what people do is they like, oh, I don't wanna wait in that line. I'll just push myself in way at the front so that we don't have to wait in the line. I don't do that on purpose. What happens is I'm driving, having a good time. Oh man, look at all that traffic, that sucks. And half of a mile, get in the right lane. 
But if you're driving on a highway, half of a mile isn't very long, especially if you have to get over. So I'm panicking going, I gotta get over, I gotta, someone please let me get over, someone please, 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 please. I had my blinker on, I was driving like 20 miles an hour being like, trying to like look and be like, please, please, please. There was not a single opening. Sometimes there's like a little opening, you can kind of like, Wee! you know, like real quick, but nothing. People were like bumper to bumper, not letting anyone in. Luckily the person behind me also needed to get over and they had their blinker on and they were going like 10 miles an hour. So they were going slower than me. So I was like, okay, I'm a little bit. So I was just driving, we are getting close to the exit and I pray, please, 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 please. So as I'm pulling up, getting closer and closer, I see this guy in a red Jeep stop as the cars in front of him move up a little bit. And I kind of peer over, I look, and he goes, and I was like, oh, so I pulled, I pulled in over to the side and I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was like, wait, <laughs> so dumb, but I was so ecstatic because I was never gonna get over it. And I didn't know where I was. And so I didn't know how long, I didn't know if that road was gonna take me forever, like 12 miles into the wrong direction. I didn't know. I was just like, thank you, thank you. And he just like, like gave me like a piece like you got it and I was just like ah, ah. bless that man bless him I hope he has a wonderful day I hope his pillow always feels cool I hope his socks always stay dry I hope his food always hits the spot what a blessed day and then I got my chicken and then I went home was it worth it that was just part one get ready for part two so part two comes around and I'm like, man, I need to stream today and then I have all these things I have to do, you know, like go to P.O. Box and I need to get my eyebrows waxed and I need to do this and I need to drop off my Patreon letters and I need to do this. There was like a lot of errands I had to do, right? And so I was like, okay, what if, what if I did all that stuff now and then streamed later, right? I thought since it was like, what was it, a Friday? I thought since it was a Friday, it would be fine. It was not fine. So I'm over here like, okay, if I do this at this time, if I get to my PO box at this time, and then I do this, and then I go do this at this time, and I get my eyebrows waxed, and then it will be good to go. I can stream my normal four hours, blah, 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 twitch.tv forward slash Caitlin Witcher, and then this will be fine. Traffic uh, everywhere, bumper to bumper. Every red light, every possible stop you could possibly make was stopped. I was going one mile an hour at one point, one mile an hour. So I drive to my PO box, and I have a little slip in my box saying I need to go pick something up from the front. So I go to the front and I have to wait in the line. No big deal. Usually this goes pretty fast. I walk over, give them my slip. She's back there for a little while. And this poor woman, this poor like four foot ten woman, comes back with boxes like this, waddling, can barely put it on the counter. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> she just like scooped it up. She goes, it's okay. Have a good day. And I was like, Okay, thanks, you too. And I was like carrying it out to my car like this. Very nice, thank you for sending me stuff in my P.O. Box, I appreciate it. After this, I'm like, man, that was so nice. I'm gonna go get my eyebrows waxed because there's a person. There's a person I very specifically like to go to get my eyebrows waxed because why? She's very nice. That is the reason. <laughs> She's very nice and she does do a good job. It has come to my attention that I have had this black lipstick on my teeth. This whole time. You know, this is the downside to lipstick is it gets on your teeth and you don't know until it's too late. But you know what? This is gonna be a learning lesson. Um, I'm going to keep going. God, it's everywhere. This was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, anyway, I go to one woman to get my eyebrows waxed because she's nice. I like her, she calls me Cat, and she's the only one who is allowed to. If she wanted to call me Katie, she would be allowed to. No one else. So long ago, pre-COVID, almost pre it was COVID, but it wasn't COVID COVID. It was March of 2020. Right before things went to shut down, I went and got my eyebrows waxed. Cause I was like, ooh, things are looking kind of rough. I might as well go get it done before. So I went in and you know, they got her eyebrows waxed. She was super talkative, super nice. You know, she always offers you drinks, like big drinks too. Not even just like a cup of something, like a big, like a whole water bottle. She's very, very nice and she's precious and I love her. So anyway, I go in and get my eyebrows waxed and she's always like, oh cat, welcome, come on in. And so then I go in and blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So I go to pay and I have my card because I, I normally pay in cash, but I had just have my card this time. So I paid, it was like $10 and so I paid and I was like, oh, where do I write the tip? And she's like, oh, you have to tell me beforehand of like, so I could put it on your card. And I was like, like I had no idea. I didn't know. And so I was like, uh, 
And she goes, oh, you could just do it next time. Do it next time. I was like, okay, I'll pay, I'll pay double next time. And I haven't seen her since March 2020. And you may be like, well, Kate, okay, things have been opened in LA, right? You could go to her then. Yeah, things were open. She was not. I drove by so many times, so many times, and she just wasn't open. I don't know if she just wanted to make sure it was safe, wanted to wait till she was vaccinated. I don't know, just wasn't open. Until today, when I went to my PO box, I wanted to see. And so I drove by and lo and behold, she was open and I had cash on me and I've been preparing for the last year and a half. I didn't forget, you know, I forget a lot of things, but I wasn't going to forget this, not this, not for her. So I was planning. So eyebrows cost $10 to get them waxed, right? And then I usually tip like $1 for every five. So you tip like $2, right? Oh no, I was, I, so I needed to make up from last time and I needed to make up for this time. And I wanted to tip a little bit more because you know, it's a nail salon. It's a good, it's, it's, she has shut down for so long. Like I'm sure there was like issues. So I just wanted to make sure that like, I wanted to treat her because she does such a good job. And, and I really like her, I like going to her, and, and she's so friendly, and it's always just like a nice, clean establishment, and you can tell that she's really passionate about what she does, and so I just wanted to thank her by tipping her a lot. <laughs> and it's not even like a lot, a lot, it was just, I wanted to tip her like $15. I uh, I tipped her 20. We'll get to that in a minute. So I walk in, and I'm like, I you know I had the mask on, so all she could see was this, and she hasn't seen me without a mask on, but she recognized me. She didn't recognize this. Anyway, so I walk in, I go, hi, can I have my eyebrows on? Oh my God, I forgot about the biggest part. <gasps> I forgot about the biggest part. Okay, so before that, I pull in to park, right? Super tiny parking lot, terrible. I pull, there's one spot open. I pull in to park and there's a cafe right next to the nail salon. And there's a bunch of old chunky men, balding gray hair, beer bellies, little bit of man titty going on, which is fine, you know? This is fine. I'm just trying to paint the visual for you. And they're sitting in chairs like men, you know, like spread eagle and just hand on their crotch. Like they're just, they're chilling in public, but chilling. And I pulled in and they all went and looked at me in my car. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. I was like, because <laughs> they were standing slash sitting kind of in front of her salon and so I was like Ooh. so I put on my mask I get my bag and I shuffle out of the car and I kind of walk over and they're like kind of talking amongst themselves but they were looking at me and I'm like please 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 and then there's like two or three of them I think there's two in front of the door and the third one's so like they're here the other one is here and they're talking and I need to get into the door but I couldn't get around them and so right when I stepped up onto the curb sidewalk to like go over there one of them was like hey 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 I was like Fuck. Hey, let this uh, this pretty girl has to go somewhere. Hey, let's let this pretty girl through. Come on, let's let this girl. Come on, you gotta let this pretty woman just walk right past. You gotta move out of the way, but let this pretty woman through. And I was like, this feels weird. <laughs> like it, it was like it was like a compliment, right? But it was also like it just kind of felt weird. And <laughs> you know, so they're like, oh, whoa, why didn't you say so? And I'm just like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I opened the door and I closed the door and I was like <sighs> And then when I closed I literally I closed it by me. I was like <sighs> And then I look up and like everyone in the salon was looking at me like Is she good? I wasn't good. I wasn't good. It was too much pressure. It's like, oh, how can I help you? I was like, oh, can I have my eyebrows done? She goes, oh, cat. And I was like, yeah. And then she goes, oh, can you come back in two hours? I didn't want to say no. But I didn't have the heart to tell her like the traffic was so bad that to, to get home it was going to take me like 45 minutes. And then 45 minutes back, maybe longer, depending on the traffic. It just, oh. And so I was like, okay. And so she goes, okay, I won't forget. And I was like, okay, I'll be back. And I had to walk back out of the men and get in my car. And I just started driving. And I was like, where do I go? What, what do, what do, what do I do? So I went and got an acai bowl because there's one place of acai bowl places um because acai like acai bowls are really good but sometimes they have banana in it and y'all know me and banana like they blend it together so it's like acai mixed in with banana that's what makes the puree but there's one place I don't know if they mix it with banana or not because I can't taste it regardless if that's the way that it has to get done 
for me to have my banana intake, fine. It's not like I don't, I want to like bananas, okay? I want to like, I know they're healthy. I know they're good for you. They're disgusting. Besides the point. So I get an acai bowl and I pay for a street parking for an hour and I sit in my car watching, oh, I couldn't even watch TikToks because my phone was like, hey, you're using a lot of data. And I'm like, mm. So I sat there eating my acai bowl, daydreaming for an hour. And then I was like, you know what? Let's call some friends. So I called one of my friends and we talked on the phone for like 15 minutes. And then my, you know, parking meter went out and I was like, well, I guess I'll drive back over in that direction. So I drove back over in that direction, had to wait 30 more minutes. So I just sat in my car and daydreamed some more. And then I got to go in and get my eyebrows done. And they looked so great, right? Okay. So then she finished up, everything was good, and then she, I, she, it was time to pay. And so she comes over, she goes, oh, $10. And so I hand her 30. I was like, you can, that's, you know, that's the tip from last time and then this time. So she's holding it and goes, oh, no, 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 and tries to like give me one of the tens back. She goes, this is plenty, this is plenty, take this too much. I was like, no, like I want, I wanted, I wanted to, this, no. And she's like, oh, is this, is this okay for you? And I was like, yeah, I was like, I've been planning on doing this. I was like, look, I, I really appreciate you. And like, I want to do this. Like, I want to, I want to give you like a, a tip, a nice tip, you know? And she kept saying like, oh, it's too much. It's too much. Just take it. It's okay. Just take it. I was like, no, like, it, it, I, <laughs> but I was like, it's okay. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to. And she was like, oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I was like, it's not even that much. It's $20. <laughs> well, I mean, cause 30, 30 with 10 was for the eyebrows. And then I tipped 20. So I gave her 30 for that. That was the reason. But like, I, I really wanted, because she's so wonderful. And so I wanted to be able to show her that I think she's wonderful and I think she does a good job and she deserves to get paid. And plus even still, within like the year and a half of me not going, she would have had that anyway. Cause I would have gone to her anyway, besides the point. So that happened and I, she's precious and I adore her. And then after that, I was like, well, guess I'm done. And so I had to drive home and it took, a freaking hour in like three minutes. I'm telling you, LA traffic, hold on. I'm tired of it. I have to go get groceries, which means I have to go outside and interact with more people. And on one hand, there are some good instances. And on the other hand, less good instances. And I don't like going outside. I'm reverting back to my hermit stage. And I like my hermit stage. Hermit stages are great. But alas, Kate's kitchens must be done. So I'm going to go. I hope you have a fantastic day. I apologize for the lipstick on the teeth. I'm embarrassed. I don't feel like filming this again. So future Kate, I'm sorry. We won't do this anymore. Or we'll just check. Maybe we could just check next time. That could be an idea. Anyway, I'm going to go be a fantastic day on the up and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.